Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In the previous video, we used Python to build a neural network to classify customers as either buyers or non-buyers. In this video, we will show you how to do this in RapidMiner with only a few clicks without using any single line of code. So let's go ahead and do this in RapidMiner. So let's go ahead and open RapidMiner. If you don't have it installed, I will leave some instructions in the description of this video on how to install RapidMiner. Once you have it open, you go for a blank process. And first thing you need to do is to import your data. We will import our data. Customer classification. We have two data sets. Uh, the first data set is for 5,000 customers that we already know uh, if they bought our, our service or our product or not. We will use this data set to train our model. And then we will try to use this model to classify the second data set, which is for 2,500 new customers that we want to classify them if they are potential customers or not. We don't have any information if they have already uh, bought some, our service or our product or not. So we'll try to classify them as potential customers or not, or potential buyers or not. So let's go ahead and first import the first data set. We will use it to train our model. Go for next. And you have to make sure that you um, correct this column, which is ID. So we have to tell RabbitMiner that this is ID column, so it's not included in the in the training. And also this one, we have to tell RabbitMiner that it's a label, it's the output. So RabbitMiner will use this column as ID, this column as the output that RabbitMiner will try to classify or to predict using the rest of the columns, which are the inputs, uh, the features that RabbitMiner will use to classify the output column. So, uh, and also you have to make sure that the data type is correct. So this one, it's binomial because it's yes or no. And then you go next. We will choose where to save our data and we go for finish. Now we have our data loaded or imported to rabbit miner so ID column, the output column or the label column, and then the rest are the input uh, features. Uh, next, we have to um, to import our program or our uh, machine learning algorithm. So I will be using uh, gradient boosting. So let's import this program. It's a supervised machine learning classification problem. So I will be using uh, gradient boosting. I have to save. Uh, I will save it in the same. Let's name it gradient boosting. Um, customer classification okay save it in the same file and this is uh, this is a, a another data set we have to remove it and then we have to load our data set which is here we have already imported our data so we have just to drag it and put it here connect it here and this this is um, to save uh, the store uh, is to save our model so we want to save our model because we will use it to predict or to classify the new data set for the new customers. So when I click here, I have to make sure that I'm saving it in the same folder. So gradient boosting customer classification. That's okay. And if we double click here and also again, double click here and we go here, we want to make sure that these classes are matching our, our um, uh, label column. Our column is no or yes, it's not zero or one. So we have to change this. So the first class is no, the second class is yes. It has to be matching uh, to our label column or output column. Otherwise it will give you an error. So this is okay. Now we can go ahead and run our program. So this is the machine learning algorithm, the gradient boosting. It will use our data set. It will store the final um, uh, model in the specified folder, then we can use it um, on any new data set to do the classification. So we can run this. And this is going to take a while. Yeah, so now uh, the model is being trained. So the training process is finished. As you can see, we can go here to check the performance of the model. So the model has overall accuracy of 63.7%. This is the confusion matrix to understand the performance of the model. So when the actual value was no, so the customer has not bought our service or our product, 
the model has correctly classified this uh, 2201 times and misclassified them 737 times it was misclassified as yes while the actual value is no when the actual value was yes the the model has correctly classified this 984 times as yes so the customer has bought our service or our product but uh, the model misclassified this class uh, 1078 times as no while the actual value was yes so we can see that the model is doing quite good when classifying the customers who has not bought our service or a product the accuracy for this class is 774.91 percent uh, and the model is not doing really good when classifying the customers who has bought our service or our product and the accuracy for this class is 47.72 we can see here also that uh, our model is saved here using the the store operator and now we can use this saved model to predict or to classify uh, the new data set for the customers that we don't have information if uh, they bought our service or product before or not and we want to classify them as potential buyers or non-potential buyers so let's go ahead and do this so to do this uh, we go for a new process a plan process and we import our, our second data set the same way as imported uh, the first data set and we drag and put our model here that we have trained already so we have the data we have the model and then we go here and search for apply model and we put this here and then we connect our model and we connect our data and also we search for uh, write excel so we can save the output into excel and then here we put connect this here and now we are ready to do classification for the new data set for the new customers using the model that we have trained by applying this model to this uh, data set and we will save the results into excel and we have to choose the file here so i'm going to choose the same file rabbit minor classification so i will use it here and i can name it as new customers classification okay and now we we'll go ahead and run this and as we can see here this is the result for each for each customer we have a prediction column which is a classification column if the customer is probably to to buy our service or not yes or no and we have also the probability for yes and the probability for no uh, the confidence of yes and the confidence of no we can go also to the excel file that we have saved in the same folder for the results which is here we should see the same three columns that we have seen in rabbit miner it is here so we have uh, a classification for each customer and we have the confidence if of no and confidence of yes so what we have done we have passed this information to our model that we have trained on 5000 customers that we already know that they bought our service or not and we try to classify these 2500 customers into potential buyers or non-potential buyers